Hello, I'm Damian Mitchell. Emergency responders had to evacuate several residents of Westmead Willows in Portmore St. Catherine as persistent rainfall overnight and poor drainage resulted in flooding. What you're seeing, at least 50% of the water have been sub subsided already. So it's only going to get worse. Meanwhile, the Portland West MP Daryl Vaz has appealed for help in eastern parishes amid the continued heavy rains. Yesterday, Prime Minister Andrew Holness announced that each constituency is to be allocated $10 million for road patching, debushing, and general cleanup. The state minister in the Ministry of Education, Floyd Green, says many children are affecting their future by oversharing information on social media. According to Mr. Green, social media has lulled persons into a false sense of security. Lawyers representing St. Anne Southeast Member of Parliament Lisa Hanna have dismissed the allegations against their client detailed in a contracted general report. And they say they will fight to defend the unblemished character of their client, who the contracted general wants to be investigated along with all councils in St. Anne in connection with a number of contract awards. In sports, the Jamaica Football Federation is to make a final ruling regarding the four-match ban imposed on Montego Bay United goalkeeper Jacomina Barrett for headbutting on it Garden striker Fabian Reed during their Red Stripe Premier League Monday night match. In your weather forecast, on Thursday morning, expect isolated showers across eastern parishes. In the afternoon, there will be widely scattered showers and isolated thunderstorms across central and western parishes. And that's it for the Green Minute. I'm Damian Mitchell.